pigs get up in the morning, we always say good day. When pigs get up in the morning, we always say good day. We say oik oik, oik oik, and that is what we say. We say oik oik, oik oik, and that is what we say. Oik. How many pigs do we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Five clean and squeaky pigs. Let's sing a song about them to the tune of Five Green and Speckled Frogs. Five pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play oink oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a big thud. Then there were four clean and squeaky pigs. Four clean and squeaky pigs, cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play oink oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a big thud, then there were three clean and squeaky pigs. Three clean and squeaky pigs, cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play oink oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a big thud, then there were two clean and squeaky pigs. Two clean and squeaky pigs, cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play oink oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a big thud, then there was one clean and squeaky pig. One clean and squeaky pig, Cleanest you've ever seen wanted to go outside and play oink oink. She jumped into the mud, landed with a big thud. Then there were zero clean and squeaky pigs. Oink oink. Have you ever seen a big orange and black butterfly flying past you? Well, you probably just saw a monarch. Every monarch's life begins as a teeny tiny egg, about the size of a grain of salt. The mama monarchs lay their eggs on the milkweed plant. But why milkweed? Well, monarch caterpillars will only eat milkweed leaves. It's their absolute favorite. Once the egg hatches, it begins to gobble up the milkweed so it can get big and strong. As the caterpillars begin to grow, which happens very quickly, they'll shed their skin. When they are ready to change into a butterfly, they will climb to a quiet spot and form a hard shell called a chrysalis. In about two weeks, they're ready to come out of their shell. At first, their wings are soft and wet, but once they're dry, they're ready to fly. In the late summer to early fall, they're ready to migrate. Some monarchs will travel over 2,000 miles. That's so far for something so small. Nature is so neat. Here's a rhyme about a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. Fuzzy wuzzy caterpillar into a quarter creeps. She spins herself a blanket and then goes fast asleep. Fuzzy wuzzy caterpillar wakes up by and by and finds that she has sprouted wings. Look, she's a butterfly. A monarch's life begins when a female lays an egg on a milkweed leaf. As you can see, the caterpillar egg is teeny, teeny, tiny. The caterpillar goes through five different stages of molting. The stages between molting are called instars. This monarch caterpillar is nice and big. It'll probably start making its cocoon here in the next day or two. Ever wonder what a caterpillar's poop looks like? <laughs> Their poop is actually called frass. 
Once the caterpillars reach their final stage, they climb up to a high, safe spot to build their cocoon. A monarch caterpillar's chrysalis is bright green with flecks of gold. You ready to come out? Alright, so we're going to release this adult. you can say while you're playing with your stuffed animals and it involves making your stuffed animals go flying which is fun one two three Mickey's on my knee rooster crows and away he goes Whee! one two three pigeons on my knee rooster crows and away he goes send him off clover Whee! one two three Bunnies on my knee. Rooster crows and away he goes. Whee! Unicorn! One, two, three. Unicorns on my knee. Rooster crows and away he goes. Woo! One, two, three. Snoopy's on my knee. Rooster crows and away he goes. Whee! Clover, wasn't that fun? Clover thinks that was lots of fun. <laughs> you try it yourself. One, two, three. Stuffy's on my knee. Rooster crows and away he goes. Be sure to pick up all your stuffed animals after you've sent them flying across the room. <laughs> this is a rhyme called Horsey Horsey. You just need your little one in your lap or nearby and we bounce. It goes like this. Horsey, horsey, come ride with me across the land, across the sea. Horsey, horsey, come ride with me, but do not let me fall. Whoa. Let's do it again. Horsey, horsey, come ride with me across the land, across the sea. Horsey, horsey, come ride with me, but do not let me fall. Whoa! Do you like to cut or tear paper? Maybe even punch holes in it? Then I have a fun craft for you. What you need are two pieces of paper, one smaller than the other, cut into squares. Scissors and glue. Scissors that will cut fun edges and a hole punch are optional but also very fun. Your job is to cut or tear your smaller piece of paper, and then you will use all of those pieces of paper and glue them onto your bigger piece of paper to make a fun picture. Here are some examples. This one was cut with scissors. Can you tell that there are a lot of a certain shape on here? What shape did I cut out? 
That's right. I cut out a lot of triangles. Here's another fun way to make a picture. For this one, I use the scissors and some hole punches. Look at how I put those on there too. All those little pieces. This one was torn. Look at those fun edges. Wow. They look different than the cut edges, don't they? So that's what you'll do. Have fun. Be creative. Alligator, alligator, after a while, crocodile, give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish, see you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur, take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye, see you next time.